Speaker, it was you who ruled that this NDP Liberal government obstructed a lawful order of this House by not turning over the evidence in the $400 million corruption scandal. It has this Parliament paralyzed and unable to deal with the misery and chaos that's been created after nine years of this NDP Liberal government. And taxes are up, costs are up, crime is up, and time is up for the cover-up of this latest corruption scandal. So will they simply provide the evidence to the police so that this House can get back to its work of holding them accountable? The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, that member is again uh, false in his statements because what you clearly ruled was that this matter should be sent to committee for further study because it is the first time in this Parliament's history that it is taking its extraordinary powers and abusing them in such an egregious way. The issue with which the honourable member is discussing has been dealt with by this government, but it's up to the Conservatives to stop obstructing their own obstruction so that we can all get back to the important work of governing for Canadians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rita Lakes. Only a Liberal would get up in this place and say that the majority of members in this House who were democratically elected, exercising powers that are legally bestowed upon this Parliament, are somehow infringing up upon yeah. this government's constitutional right to not be investigated by the RCMP for their own corruption. It's absolutely unbelievable. Over 186 conflicts of interest, $400 million lining the pockets of well-connected Liberal insiders, while Canadians are lined up at food banks in record numbers. So we want to know if this government's expecting the NDP to bail them out and stop us from holding them to account. Yeah, yeah, yeah.